In this example, we're going to draw a Lewis structure for the covalent compound H2O. Now remember, covalent compounds share electrons. Ionic compounds give and take electrons. So electrons in this compound are going to be shared. All right, the first thing we have to do is figure out how many valence electrons are in each element. H2O has H, and there H is in the periodic chart, and O, and there O is on the periodic chart. All right, H is in group 1A, so it has one valence electron. We represent that by putting one dot to the right of the H. There are two H's in H2O, however, so we have to have two H's, each with its own valence electron. So those are the H's we have to work with. Oxygen is in group 6A. That means it has six valence electrons. We put those on one at a time, starting from the right, going to the bottom, to the left, and to the top, and now we start doubling up, right and bottom. That's six electrons. So these are the elements that we have to play with. You can think about Lewis structures like puzzles. Most elements behave according to the octet rule. That means they want eight valence electrons. Some elements are exceptions to that rule, and hydrogen is one of those exceptions. It doesn't want eight valence electrons. It only wants two. All right, now in covalent compounds, the electrons are shared. So we have to figure out a way to get hydrogen to share two electrons and oxygen to get a total of eight electrons, including the ones it's sharing. How do we do that? Well, the first technique is to take the atom with the most unpaired electrons and put it in the center of the molecule and try to hang all of the other atoms off that central atom. Well, oxygen has six electrons. Four of them are paired, but two of them are unpaired. Hydrogen has only one unpaired electron. So oxygen is the atom that's going to go in the center, and we're going to try and hang the hydrogens off the oxygen. Well, it's not hard to see what has to happen here. Oxygen wants eight electrons. It currently has six. It has two open spaces. Here's one. Here's the other. So all we need to do is get the hydrogens to take their electrons and fill in that empty space. Look what happens when we do that. An atom thinks it owns any electrons that are either next to it or between it and the very next atom. So look at the hydrogens. They each think they own two electrons because there are two electrons between them and the oxygen. Look at the oxygen. It thinks it owns eight electrons. Four of the electrons it owns outright. The other four are between it and one of the hydrogens. So in the end, the oxygen thinks it owns eight electrons. The hydrogens think they own two electrons. So the oxygens and the hydrogens both have their ideal electron configurations. The electrons that exist between each hydrogen atom and the oxygen atom are shared electrons. The hydrogens think they own those electrons. The oxygen thinks it owns those electrons. So the electrons are shared. Shared electrons are covalent chemical bonds. We typically symbolize that with a stick rather than a pair of dots to emphasize that this is a bond linking the two atoms. So to finish off the Lewis structure then, we take each shared pair of electrons and replace them with a stick. This is our Lewis structure for water. Now I want to make a quick point about Lewis structures here. A Lewis structure does not have to have any particular orientation. This is the Lewis structure I came up with. You might come up with this Lewis structure, or that Lewis structure, or that Lewis structure, or even my Lewis structure. So when you're solving these problems, you don't have to come up with exactly the same Lewis structure I came up with. As long as you have the same central atom, the same number of bonds, the same type of atoms linking to those bonds, and the same number of non-bonding electrons, then your Lewis structure is just as good as mine. In the case of water, as long as you have oxygen as the central atom, as long as you have four non-bonding electrons next to that oxygen, and as long as you have two bonds each going to a hydrogen atom, your Lewis structure is as good as mine.